Hey, I'm Matthew, and here's what's new just for you in Planning Center. The big headline is you can now use automations to automatically create tasks for yourself and for other people. But that's not all. We've also added a new automation option in services. Let me show you how it works. All right, so here we are in Planning Center Home, and we are on the Tasks page. You can see I've got a few that are already here, and if I want to, I can always go ahead and add a new task, but that is not what we're doing today. Today, we are looking at how automations can add tasks automatically for us. So we're gonna try it. We're gonna see how it works. Let's go over to Services, and we're gonna make an automation over there. Now, at our church, we have a violin player um, every once in a while, and so it's always nice to give the sound guy a heads up when that's gonna happen. So let's build an automation for that. Let's go to our Teams, and we're gonna go to our Band, and these Teams are where your automations like this are gonna live and we'll go to this Automations tab, and that lets us create a new automation. Now, when do we want this automation to run? When a person accepts a request to serve, and specifically the position for violin. So this automation is gonna run when anyone, requests, <laughs> when anyone accepts a request to serve doing violin. All right, then what do we want to happen? Let's have this happen over in Home, which is where our tasks live, and we want it to, of course, add a task. And we'll just say, set up for violin for the name of this. And I could assign this to myself. I could also send this to the person accepting the request, but in this case, we want this to go to our sound guy. So I'm gonna send it to someone else. And that is uh, Brandon in this case. So I'm gonna search for him. And now all of these tasks are gonna go to Brandon. And we'll go ahead and create that automation. Now, let's go ahead and see this in action. So I am gonna go over to my phone to the Church Center app where I am logged in as Haley, who's one of our violin players. And you can see I've already sent her a schedule request to uh, play violin. So she can go ahead and accept that, okay? And now, just like normal, that is added to her schedule and she can handle all of those things. But that's not the end of the story because now Brandon is also getting a task from that automation that we set up. So I'm gonna go back over to the computer and I'm actually gonna swipe over to where I am logged in as Brandon and I'm on his tasks page, and he's got a couple there, but if you take a look at the bottom of this list, right there already is set up for violin. So this automation is doing its thing, and as soon as Haley um, accepts that request to play violin, Brandon gets this task to uh, go ahead and set up so that everything can all be ready to go um, for, uh, for church on Sunday. And that is what's new for you in Planning Center. To stay up to date on all the new things going on, head over to planningcenter.com slash blog.